my Valentine's Day gift to myself has finally arrived. <laughs> As you can see, it's from Louis Vuitton. So this will be a true unboxing. There's the online receipt. And the carrier bag. Hi, you guys. Today we have a super exciting unboxing. I didn't even know LV released this bag, um, but I just happened to see one of the emails, um, like a promotional email they had for Valentine's Day. I saw this bag on the model and I just had to click on it because I was like, it's so cute. You guys probably know which one I went for. I ordered this last week and I've been waiting patiently for it to arrive. It was supposed to be delivered on Friday, but we had no one at home. So I had to wait until Wednesday for them to deliver this. So I am super excited. Can't wait to meet this little cutie. Without further ado, <laughs> let's unbox her. So this is supposed to be a Valentine's Day gift for myself. Are you guys ready? So here is my newest Louis Vuitton handbag from their new Valentine's Day collection. Oh my gosh! Isn't this color just so dreamy? So it's actually a bit more blue lilac than I thought it would be. So the color name is called lilac, but it looks a lot more bluish purple than a true purple. So you can see from my nails, it's more like a true lilac color. So this one has definitely a lot more blue undertone, but I love it just the same. It's so puffy and cute. Wow. And the hardware is super shiny. I just adore <laughs> this puffy leather. The official name is called Pop My Heart Pouch. Isn't that just such a cute name? It comes in two colors. So this is the lilac and then it also comes in a dragon fruit which is a super cute pink color. So for all those of you that love pink and missed out on the Chanel 22S heart pink bag, yeah it's the same type of pink. So like a very neon bright pink. So it's actually calfskin leather and this is from there. Um, do you guys remember the Alma BB that I tried on in store? That's got the bubble gram um, like a puffy cloud-like leather as well. So this is the exact same, <laughs> but in a heart shape. It is so adorable. <laughs> I am obsessed. <laughs> yeah, so when I saw this online, I messaged my mom straight away. I was like, what do you think of this bag? And mom was like, oh, I was just about to message you about it for LV Valentine's Day. Only Asia usually gets the heart, you know, shaped or heart inspired bags for the past few years. So this time it is available worldwide, I think. So yeah, it is so cute. Okay, so it comes with the textile lining. So it does say the exterior is calfskin. And it does have a crossbody strap. So the chain is super weighty. Love it. And on the clasp, it does have LV engraved on either side. Super, super nice. So it just clips onto the D ring on the side there. You all know I love a top handle as well as having a crossbody option. This bag is so perfect and so, so cute. But this is how it looks on. <laughs> it actually hits me at the perfect length for crossbody. So my waist is up here. And then my hip bone is right there. So it just hits right on top of the hip bone, just a little bit higher, which is good. I actually prefer having my crossbodies a little bit higher. Okay, so there's that. Looks super cute. 
and you can definitely have it on one shoulder it's not going to be too long that's how it looks on one shoulder how cute is that and of course you can just hold on to it and it makes a super cute <laughs> handheld bag too now i do have my chanel 22s let me just go grab that one here is little chantilly <laughs> and here is the lv one you can see that the size is actually uh, pretty comparable and then this is the side the lv one is a little bit uh, wider and this is the back the chanel one does have the little back pocket the LV one's just plain on the back there. Even the shape is very similar. The LV one's maybe like a little bit more tapered on the bottom there, but super similar in size. Yeah, so definitely if you missed out on the Chanel heart bag, which was so hard to get, I think you should definitely consider this LV one because look at it, it is so similar. I'll just wear this one as well, crossbody, to show you. So the Chanel one's definitely a lot longer. So that's how they look. Um, you can see the Chanel one hangs down a lot lower. My hip bones, yeah, so it's below my hip bone, whereas this one's just above. But you can easily change out the chain on the LV one to something slightly longer. Then you can also wear it lower and make it a longer crossbody. Which one do you guys prefer? I feel like they're different enough that I can <laughs> add both. <laughs> yeah, super cute. I'll put some things in there and show you guys what fits inside. But it is a mini bag, so don't expect it to fit, you know, everything. But I think it would still have pretty good capacity. Definitely wouldn't fit your phone, but I already know that going in. And I know it's just going to be the bare minimum, which is perfectly fine for me. Show you guys a close up. I'll take the chain off because it's making so much noise. As you can see, it's in this bubblegum, which is the puffy cloud like calf skin. Super gorgeous. And then the hardware is very shiny gold. That's where the strap goes onto, and then the top handle which is rigid and on the handle it does say Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy the zipper is very smooth like with all LV zippers and inside you can see the textile lining with the little monogram pattern very pretty and then the chain has the monogram on each side so both of them uh, and there's no engraving on the links how cute so now let's see what can fit inside okay so let's try a few of the items out the Chanel card holder uh, it is a little bit too big so you can see the corner does not fit there Uh, the Kelvin, which is smaller, that actually fits inside. Wow, very surprising. So the Kelvin fits in the Chanel. If we just very quickly show you. I actually filmed a what fits in the Chanel one, but I never got around to post it. So with this one, so you can see the corner is coming out. So you can tell the Chanel one is definitely just a tiny bit smaller. The LV it fits uh, and same with the card holder that actually fits inside as well uh, whereas for the Chanel one it does not fit the top bits all comes out you cannot close the bag okay so, so far, <laughs> this capacity is a lot better, isn't it? So we have the LV key pouch. So this one 
also fits inside. Okay, and then the Hermes Bastia. This one fits, no issues. And I think for the Chanel, this one does fit as well. So you can see it there, but that does fit inside. Okay, now what about the six ring key holder? Oh my God, no way. This is a game changer <laughs> for me at least, because it's so annoying having to, you know, always take out my car fold. The six ring key holder with my keys in there doesn't fit in most of my Chanel mini bags, but wow, this fits in there perfectly. Can you believe that? Wow, I am shocked. Now, what about the round coin purse? Oh, Jesus. Okay. The round coin purse. I think if I didn't have this in there, it would fit inside. Yeah, it does. So you can see that fits in there. Um, but obviously you can only have one bulky item and then maybe like a slimmer one on top. Yep, so that fits fine. And then you can put maybe the Chanel lipstick and a Dior little perfume and maybe the Chanel compact. No, that will not fit. It's too much. Yeah, no. Nah. So this is pretty much at max capacity. But it zips up nicely. And there is some flexibility with this squishy leather. Okay, so you can see it's nice. No lumps or bumps. Wow, so let's actually put in what I would carry uh, typically so definitely not the <laughs> coin purse because I rarely use coins so it will be my six ring key holder and then I'll probably do a card holder so that fits nicely and if you want to maybe do a compact and a lipstick so even though it looks like it's super full it will actually close up just because of the padded leather. Yeah, wow, the capacity is actually amazing, you guys. And for the price, it is 2,960 Australian dollars. So for that price, and so much actually fits inside, this is a steal. <laughs> oh, wow, you guys really need to jump on this before it sells out, because I'm pretty sure it's a limited edition. But look how much fits inside. That's crazy, right? Like it carries pretty much like everything I would carry. I didn't even need to downsize. This is so crazy. If you don't carry the six ring and say you prefer to carry your hand cream, you can put the Chanel hand cream in there. Maybe you like to have your keys in this one, the key pouch. Right, this is a bit tight. Now, the key pouch will not fit in there with the Chanel hand cream. So I think if you do maybe the Calvi, that fits fine. And then you have all this space, so you can have a lip gloss, lipstick, perfume. <laughs> and there's so much more space you can do maybe the compact mirror. Yeah, so that still zips up, but just, yeah, this is definitely max capacity and it's bulging here a little bit, so I wouldn't carry it like this. Not too much, too much. So maybe a Bastia. That zips up. Yes, yeah, so I think with the Chanel hand cream, because of how thick it is, it does limit how much you can put inside. So without the hand cream, you can see there's all this space. So if we just take out the car key, okay, and put it in there, and then you can put, you know, another small hand sanitizer or smaller hand cream in that space there. Then you can put your Calvi card holder in the Chanel compact. 
So that fits perfect. Yeah, so this capacity is actually so good, you guys. I pretty much don't have to downsize at all. So I think that's super good for a bag that's under $3,000. It's pretty incredible, actually. Now, let me just show you the chain. So because the chain is a quite a short crossbody, some people might prefer their bag a little bit longer. So this is where you could get another chain. So this one is from Next Fashion and you can pretty much customize how long you want it, what sort of clasp you want. And the only difference is basically just the clasp will not have the LV engraving, but otherwise you can see even the color is very similar. And from afar, you probably can't even tell which chain is LV and which chain is Next Fashion. They are really superb quality. And the weight, especially for this Ruloi chain, which is my favorite, the weight, if I just put them in my two hands, it's practically the same. I love a good weighted chain. I'm just super impressed by the Rulo chain. If you have to pick one, this is definitely the one I would go for. Love this one so much. So let me just show you how this looks on. And just put you up a bit. So this is how the chain looks on. So you can probably not even tell the difference <laughs> compared to the LV chain. It just looks super nice. So I think I gave my longer chain to mom. So this one is also pretty short. It's a little bit longer than the LV chain. So it hits me at a really nice length. So pretty much where my hip bone is. Super loving how this looks. What do you guys think? So now let me show you how Next Fashion chains can fully transform your LV bags. Let me just see if I can wear this as a... Um, Oh yeah, possibly. So if I ordered a slightly longer chain and I can clip this onto the D-ring there, then this one <laughs> can be a belt bag. Isn't that so cute as a little heart belt bag? <laughs> Super loving. So the next part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Paw from Next Fashion, a small Canadian brand. Paw and I have been working together on various projects over on Instagram ever since I was just a very small creator. So yes, I owe a lot to Paw for believing in me. Two years ago, we had like this conversation about starting YouTube and he told me that I really should start YouTube, but I was saying, you know, I have no time it's too hectic with work and everything so Paul if I had listened to you <laughs> I really should have started my channel two years ago but yes he was the first one that reached out to me after I started my channel back in early November. He asked if I wanted to do a collaboration with him. But back then, I only just started my channel. So I thought it was a little bit early and I'm still finding my footing. Paul is just one of those people so kind-hearted and he really truly values us small creators, which just makes me so happy to work for him. And this collaboration really is such a dream come true. So thank you so much Paul for always believing in me. It honestly means so much to me. With all his chains they're fully customizable so you can choose depending on your height how long you want the chain, choose whatever clasp you would prefer. So for most of the LV bags it's good to have this clasp because this is what the LV clasp actually looks like. It's basically just a miniature version. You can also pick a bigger version which will be the same size as that one. Super nice and very similar to the LV hardware. Even the color is very similar. So this is my favorite chain which is the Rulo. Love this one. And it really goes with all bags. So on your mini pochettes, your handbags, even non-LV handbags, you can use the gold chain on. Here, I'll just clip it onto my new bag to show you. <laughs> so now it's a super cute shoulder bag. How cute, right? <laughs> super, super cute. 
and I just love the versatility depending on the look that you want to go for. With Next Fashion, I completely stand behind Paul and his wonderful products. So with all these chains that I have, I've had them for over three years now and they're still looking brand new, very shiny. The metal does not tarnish over time or have that like weird metal smell. So all these just is top-notch quality. So you definitely don't have to be scared ordering from them. They do ship worldwide. So I'm super happy that Paul decided to partner with me on this video. And every time that I've shown you guys, you know, my bags with his chains, I always get so many DMs on my Instagram asking where the chains are from. All the gold chains that I carry, they're always from Paul. So yeah, <laughs> I've used the brand. I loved his chains for so many years now. So definitely if you are on the market to get an updated look for your handbags, or if you just want a chain that's a bit more customized, for your height or your particular needs, then look no further because I think Paws Next Fashion chains, they are one of the best on the market and they are also not overpriced like some brands. So yeah, highly recommend. So we'll go with a slightly shorter Rulo chain. I'll put it on my Palm Springs Mini. So you guys all know I love to wear dresses. I'm hardly ever wearing, you know, super casual outfits. So this is why I haven't been gravitating towards LV bags for the past few years because I just feel like my style has evolved. I am not liking the casual style as much. Although in most recent months, I've been trying to become more casual again. So <laughs> we shall see. But if you can, you know, change up the look of your bags with just like a simple strap you can pretty much wear a more dressier outfit and it would still look really classy and chic so now your palm springs mini will also look really nice with skirts or dresses if you just add a simple gold chain so this one is a perfect shoulder length for me. Now, if we switch to the push-up Matisse. So this bag, it comes with the canvas strap. I actually don't like this canvas strap at all. It is very stiff and uncomfortable, especially when you have, you know, a lot of stuff in the bag and it's getting heavy. The strap really digs in. So this is how it looks crossbody with the canvas strap. And now I'll show you how it would look if I put a gold strap on. There. This chain that I have is the light curved chain. So this one is a lot lighter. So if you prefer your chains not to be super heavy, then this is the one for you. So now you can see the chain just makes the Pochette Matisse look a lot more glam and dressy, which, you know, is more in tune with my personal style. And the chain is so much more comfortable than the LV canvas strap as well. So super love how that looks and it is the perfect crossbody length now as well super pretty just catches the light so nicely and of course if you wanted to use this as more of a shoulder bag so this is the rouleau so now it is a shoulder bag looks so nice in the chain you can see it's really sparkly So pretty. Definitely love any of their chains. Now for those of you that have the bum bag, you may want to accessorize it. So here I have a Hermes Twilly on there <laughs> in a cute bow shape. But did you know you can also add something like this onto the zipper? So now you have a very nice chain here and just jazzes up the bag. <laughs> and when you are opening and closing the bag, it becomes a lot easier and smooth to grab hold of. 
So especially with this one, because of the lip, it does get hard to open and close. So with the addition of the chain, it just makes your life a little bit easier. So the same goes for the Palm Springs Mini. So that looks super nice. Yeah, so even with a dress, you know, all these casual bags with the additional chain, it just looks a lot nicer and dressier. So the same chain will also work on the Palm Springs Mini. Let me show you. I think for this one, you do need a smaller. Yeah, this one's just a little bit too thick <laughs> for the for the delicate little zipper pull. But I think this one, I'll need to order something that's smaller. But the idea is to have it like there. So that would be a nice accessory as well. You just need like a smaller clasp. Or if you want, you can put it behind here. <laughs> so it becomes a lot easier um, to open and close as well. And that looks super nice. Now, I'll just show you quickly with the multi pochette. So, this bag, I can use something a little bit thicker and chunkier and use it as a handheld. There you go. Doesn't that look so much better than the canvas strap? that comes with it. <laughs> That's how it looks on the shoulder. Super shiny and pretty. Yeah, so I would highly recommend their chains. So this is the thick jumbo light chain. Very nice. And of course, if you just wanted a longer crossbody, this is the first chain that I showed you guys, the Rulo, which is my favorite. There it is, crossbody. How nice is that? Looks so much nicer. And of course you can use the chain if you want to just carry the small pouch by itself. You can do that. I often do that when I'm just running errands. So yeah, that is super nice option. So let me know which chain that I showed today was your favorite and will you also be picking up any chains from Next Fashion? Paul did give me a special discount code so it is Queen of Diamonds 20 which will let you have 20% off your order. Usually they only have 15% off so 20% off is amazing. So thank you Paul for this special code for my subscribers. So I hope you all enjoy your chains if you do decide to get one and I'll link some of my favorite ones down below so make sure to check the description. If you want to see exactly which chains I used on my bags today. And let me know <laughs> what you think of my little lilac baby. So this is the Pop My Heart pouch <laughs> from LV. It is super duper cute. Let me know what you think. Why is it that every time I'm filming it is so hot? <laughs> I am always sweating so if I'm looking very shiny and my hair is looking all crazy <laughs> it's because I'm very sweaty <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> now I was just looking at the bag and there is a little bit of a almost like a design flaw so let me just show you just from how big this zipper is every time you move this it really scratches the under plate there so you can see just from me opening and closing the bag a couple of times the plate there is already very scratched yeah I don't know if that would bother me because often what happens is this zipper would get stuck like this and when you go to move it it will scratch the bottom bit so yeah that is definitely a con but other than that, yeah, it's just a little bit too big for the hole that's created. It really scratches it up. Yeah. I don't know, would that bother you guys? 
look how scratched that is and that would only just get worse with time look at the next fashion chains there's no scratches on the hardware but yeah the lv hardware scratches so easily so i hope you guys can see so just from me unboxing and doing mod shots it's already super scratched that is crazy for a new bag um it's because the zipper is so big and it's just not made very well in that regard so it just rubs against the back plate like crazy can you see that like the whole back plate is scratched uh well this is the back of my bum bag. It's the same size zipper, but they put a small D-ring there. So it hangs down and this little part does not scratch the hardware. So you can see there's no scratches on there. So strange that for this one, the zipper is like the same size, but they didn't put the little D-ring. Yeah, so I'm a little bit disappointed with this. I mean, I know it's not like a super expensive bag, but still, the hardware shouldn't look this bad after just a few minutes of use. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if this would bother you or if you would just still keep the bag. Let me know. So I think I will actually upload this video first before the giveaway video just so I can get you guys opinion on what I should do with this bag. Should I return it or should I just keep it? Because I think the capacity is amazing for a mini bag and for the price, I actually think it's perfect. It's just that zipper, it's like so poorly made just scratches like crazy so please let me know down below what you guys think and look out for the giveaway video which will be the next one if you like this unboxing don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to check out the beautiful chains from next fashion i'll link some of my favorite ones down below and you can use queen of diamonds 20 to get 20 percent off your order thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again in my next video bye